my name is Miss Carol. This is Miss Christine. We are going to draw today. Who's excited? Yay! Guess what we're drawing today? It's slimy. Yes! Yes, snail! So I'm excited to start with you guys. Welcome to another Juvie Art School class. So without further ado, hold up your pencils if you are ready so I know we can start. You have your pencils? Yay! Okay, so I'm going to share my screen so you could see. So let me take this off. Oh no, I lost my... There it is. <laughs> Alrighty, does everybody see my screen? My paper? Yes? Yay! So I have a pencil and eraser. Yes. Great. I'm going to be using my marker just like before so you can see my lines, but you can use your pencil and eraser. So in case you make any mistakes, you can erase it easily. So everybody have their paper this way. Make sure it's landscape wise so it's long like a hot dog. Does everybody have it long like a hot dog? Awesome. Okay, so we're going to place our paper this way. And we're going to start with a big circle. It's going to be towards the right side of my paper. So get your pencils. I'm going to start at the top. And then I'm going to go make a big... Ooh, let me actually change my marker. This one's a little bit dry. Aha. Okay, so I'm going to start up here. Again, let me do this again. I'm going to make a big circle circle towards the right side of my paper because I need to fit the head and the tail and the head's a lot bigger than the tail. So start with a big circle. This is going to be the shell for our snail. Okay so now that we have our big circle I'm going to draw the front part of my slug. So I'm going to draw Put my pencil here towards the end of my circle on the side. I'm going to make a long curve like this. And then on this side, I'm going to draw a, just a straight line. So this is going to be for our head. And then we're starting the tail with a straight line. <laughs> to start, I'm going to put my pencil at the end of this line and I'm going to do a nice curve. So this is the tail and this is the head. There was one day I was walking outside and I was meant to go get the mail but I didn't put my slippers on and I stepped on a slug and I felt so bad I'm like I'm so sorry I stepped on you Mr. Slug but also I felt really gross because I had all this sticky stuff underneath my foot <laughs> but I was like ew I got sticky goo on my foot oh <laughs> All right, so what are we missing? We have the head and the tail. What do you think we need to else? Oh, you're right, the eyes. So we're going to draw two circles above the head like this. Okay, and then you can add a small circle inside for the eyeball, the pupil. And then you're going to connect it with a line going down towards the head. <laughs> Ooh, do you guys know what my favorite snail character is? There's Turbo the snail, but there's also... He lives under the sea. His best friend is a sponge. Gary! <laughs> I love, I love Gary the snail. He goes meow. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm not sure if that's what snails really sound like, but I love Gary. He's the best. Okay, so you have your eyes. Make sure you connect it to the head and a smiley face. You can do a tongue sticking out or a big smiley face. You could put cheeks if you want. You could put eyebrows if you want. You can make it your own. Okay, so now that we have our eyes and our smiley face, let's do the design for our snail shell. That was kind of hard to say. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my pencil about right here. And it's like we're making the target sign. So I'm going to put one smaller circle on the inside. And then a smaller circle on the inside of that circle. Yes, you can add your own designs. Like if you want to put waves, if you want to put a swirl, if you want to make this Captain America shield. <laughs> However you want to decorate polka dots, make it your own shell. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go above the eyes. We're gonna put a line right across for the horizon line. And this is gonna be for the grass. I'm gonna go all the way through. Make sure not to go into your shells. But yes, when it's rainy, Snails love to come outside and worms. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna draw some mushrooms. So that way he's not just alone on the grass. So I'm gonna draw a long line here and another line over here. And then I'm gonna draw another line over here. Make sure you have space though because I'm gonna draw a half circle on each of them. So you're going to draw three lines. When you're drawn, you are going to go on one side of your line and you're going to draw like a rainbow. So it looks like a half circle. Yes, so you can draw flowers if you want. I'm going to draw mushrooms. Do you guys like mushroom on your pizza? So after you have all of your half circles or your semicircles, we're going to add two lines that go down towards the ground. And this one's going to go all the way down to the edge of my pizza. Like that. So now we have our mushrooms. The mushrooms I'm going to draw are going to have spots. So on each mushroom, you can add little curves and circles so it looks like a mushroom. That's awesome! Yes, you can put faces on your mushrooms, eyeballs, sunglasses. Aww. I'm going to add some pebbles or rocks over here. So same idea like the mushroom tops. I'm going to make a small rock over here and a big rock on the bottom. That way it looks like he's in the forest taking a stroll, enjoying the scene. <laughs> what should I name my snail? Pickle? Did someone say pickle? I'm going to name mine Mr. Pickles then. Good job, you guys. These are looking great. We got a snail army. Okay, so go ahead and get your coloring tools out if you haven't had them out already. Today, I'm going to be using my markers. So I'm using the markers that I have. And I'm going to use as much of the rainbow that I can. So... Ooh, okay, so. so pick a color for the snail's body. He, so I'm going to uh, find a color for the body and the tail, the head and the tail. I'm going to do orange. Nice and bright. And we can start coloring. So we're coloring the head and the tail.
All right, I'm actually going to start coloring my shell so you can choose different colors, put different patterns on. We are coming down to our couple last minute, so I'm going to take this opportunity to let you guys know about our website and our social media so that way you can share with us all your drawings. And it doesn't have to be this drawing either. I would love to see all of your artwork that you guys do when you're not able to see you on our art school. So you can go to our website at www.juvieart.com or you can find us on Facebook or Instagram at juvieartofficial. I'm going to share Mrs. Christine's screen for you so you can see. We have YouTube videos too of other art videos. If you ever miss an art school, we actually upload today's video and last week's video onto our YouTube page. So if you ever miss an art class and you can't come, you can always check out our YouTube because we have it recorded for you. <laughs> Oh, well, I hope to see you again soon. So we'll do another drawing soon with you guys. And if you finish your picture, don't forget to share it with us. So I'll see you in the next art class, okay? Bye! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website at dubyart.com. Follow us on social media at dubyartofficial. Bye! Subscribe to our...